Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this playthrough of Zork Grand Inquisitor. Uh, last episode we went robbing, or like committing arson, framing, we're basically dicks. Uh, but it's okay because we're going to save like magic or some shit. Uh, so we're going to head down this well. We've got our wee trusty lantern sidekick, Dalboz. So we are going to head down now. There is something really intimidating, but whenever it goes to this kind of like cutscene, I, I don't like it. Ah, the underground, much better. I'm Dalbaz, Dalbaz of Girth. They call me the Dungeon Master. Well, they used to before I got stuck in this lantern. The job doesn't mean much nowadays, but I was a big deal about a hundred years ago. Then magic is banished, and Yannick, the Grand Inquisitor, sprays me with Froba's electric wizard repellent. That Suddenly like I'm Batman torn from my body, floating Arsenal. helplessly, and I end up trapped in this piece of junk. Which brings me to you. What's your name? Noir. Okay, I'll just call you ageless, faceless, gender-neutral, culturally ambiguous adventure person. Afghan cop, for short. Yeah, that works anyway, for me. Anyway, you gotta help me. Standard stuff, really. Save the Empire, return magic to the land, a little revenge, if time permits. I'm yeah. a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I know just the person who could help us out. The Enchantress, Yigail. She's a bit flaky, but she's one heck of a spellcaster. And she always gives you free stuff when you talk to her. Let's and that's all the more reason I love free stuff. Especially in video games, that's why I steal everything. I am Yigail, lost Enchantress of the Empire. I come to you from the ethereal plains of Atreus. Oh, um, I gotta get that. Do you mind? All right. Let me get right to the point. This call's not cheap. <laughs> the good news is there are three magic relics. That's good. Uh, relics strong enough to bring magic back to the Empire. The bad news is they are lost or destroyed or something because, hello, no magic. Or something? Zip it! Take the spell book, adventurer. There is much magic hidden in the underground. If only you know how to look. What did I tell you? A spell book. Let me give you a quick rundown. There are three types of magic spells. High magic is creation. I'll bet. Middle magic is enlightenment. Deep magic is transmutation. You pick up spells like it. and you write them into your spell book. We'll probably run across a few of each down here. There are spell scrolls stashed all over the underground. I just can't remember where. So anyway, we've got our wee trusty spell book, so let's just have a little look at it, shall we? So we have a Voxum. Voxum. Uh, I don't think this really serves a purpose right now. Uh, the energies of magic don't need to be separated right now. I'm yeah. sure they appreciate the sentiment, though. We have Rezrov, which is the superior Alohomora. Egrim, which turns purple things invisible, because, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let us get to work. So, just. Oh, come on now. Look, we're safe down here. Even if you could make that climb, we'd be arrested in a matter of seconds. That is another death, actually. Uh, I'll probably leave that, to be honest. That appears to be your average everyday subway token. Naturally, it's lying in a bucket at the bottom of a well. Where else could it be? It's our very first inventory item together. I wish I had a camera. That's okay, I've got recording. So this is one of many secret entrances to the Zork Underground, I guess. Door's locked, huh? Well, I'm not much of a hand with locks, but if you open the spell book... Well, we have our Resrov. And that is how Bingo. you open doors. Open sesame. A very nice piece of spellcasting, indeed. Uh, now, what I like about this as well is, normally you'd expect to walk down these stairs like some sort of filthy casual, really. And uh, nope. It's like an even cooler version of those the things that old people used to get down these stairs. Underground highway. My old stomping grounds. All the must-haves for the on-the-go adventurer. Well, I'd say this applies. Go on. So this is really, really stupid, but I love it. It's just hilariously tedious. Um, so in case of adventure, you're going to break the glass. But I can't break the glass 
I have to open. And of course, instead of just letting stuck. me pick it up, I have to take the hammer, close it, and break it. So now we have a sword. And a map. Ah, the elusive umbrella tree. Aptly named for its umbrella-shaped blossoms. So, um... Yeah, we got the umbrella tree here. Um... Just to show if there was a spell, we had Egram, Egram. Which turns purple things invisible. Hey, there's a spell in one of the blossoms. So we need to get some... Way of getting that scroll. I don't think my sword works on it. Violence never solved anything. Well, not everything. Okay, not this thing. Why not? I don't know. Okay, if you put it happily that way. Um, hard to stay mad. Uh, there is... Mm, another vestige of the Inquisition. That tacky little souvenir is called a totem. They hold the imprisoned spirits of magical creatures. It's cheaper and easier than torture, and it's certainly much more space efficient. What, what, what was that? Uh, I heard that. Uh, hello, uh, whoever you are. It's me, Dalbaz. I got chased out of my body by the Grand Inquisitor and ended up stuck in his lamp. This here's Afghan cop. Yo. So how'd they get to you? Well, I was just minding my own business, hanging out in the forest near Fuzo, and uh, next thing you know, I'm cornered by a fierce posse. I mean, more of a phalanx you would really call it. I mean, of about a hundred Inquisition guards, you know? And I don't mean your average regular little size guards. I mean, these were big guys. These were monsters. Oh, it took shit. about, uh, well, 50 of them to hold me down because most of them. Oh, what's this? You're a knobby little something or other, aren't you? A scrawny, scaly runt of a kitty fish. Ooh, there's a... Speak to the great dragon of the, the Empire with such insolence. Uh, behold the flames of my wrath. Oh, 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 beg mercy, my lord. Oh, avert your eyes. My gaze is terrible. I am a dragon. <laughs> well, sort of a dragon after a fashion, you know. If, if you dare look into my eyes, I'll turn you into a uh, jelly. Stone, you idiot, not jelly. I don't really know any dragons that turn you into stone. You're gonna give me any trouble, runt? Oh. No, sir, everything is under control here. Oh, dear. Tough break. So you're out of commission, huh? Well, I'm sure this kindly adventurer won't mind the extra load. Thanks. So we have another wee buddy. Um, you tend to like collect all these different um, totems, and they usually do help you in some way. But we'll get into that later on. This place looks sort of familiar. The rank undergrowth prevents eastward movement. That's a nice wee Zork one reference. I think it's ah, something. Onward then, into the foliage. I feel like Dalbo's actually makes this That's game my like. House. And this is my garden. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely does make this game. If it wasn't for him, I, I doubt this would have the same charm. My gardening tools: scroll, shovel, shovel, scroll. We'll pick up the shovel, and we've got another spell: throw rock, which causes vegetation to grow. Uh, I think it only comes up to use once. Yeah. <laughs> eggplants. That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? No? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got a snapdragon. I think it was a snapdragon. It's a snapdragon. Yeah. This thing needs to take a chill pill. Quite literally. So you're probably wondering where that noise is coming from. Hey, baby. It's the this house. is the Dungeon Master's home security system. You ain't getting in here, so don't even try. I have a great home security system, but he's got some bad habits. Harry, it's me. Come on, Harry, let me in. Oh, yeah? Well, you got any ID? Me? Do I look like I got any ID? You look like a lamb. You like a house. I don't care if you're the Dungeon Master himself. You're still not getting in here. What an ineffective house system where you can't even get into your own house. Well, I mean, I guess it is effective if it's getting pulled out, but still. So, uh, I... 
Putain, là, que... Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, we've had a wee explanation around. I have a notification block in my view. That's all great. So, let's just leave it here and we will continue this next time on Grand Quizzer. <laughs>